How's it going, everybody out there on YouTube, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, Twitter, however you found this video. Chris Peters here once again with the Entrepreneur Power Hour. It's November 27th, 2016, and it's quite nice out here. I'm filming again once outside on location in my backyard on my property here. As you can see, I live near the train tracks, which is pretty cool. I love near, living near trains. I live in a good area of my city. And I came outside today to film another formula for you guys from this awesome book, The Law of Success by Napoleon Hill. Now one thing I'm going to say before I get into the video is if you buy The Law of Success by Napoleon Hill, this is something you have to read more than once. Okay, I'm only through the book almost, almost through the book one time and I guarantee you there's going to be tons of stuff I missed the first time around. There's going to be a lot of information that my subconscious mind hasn't fully absorbed yet. There's going to be applications and exercises that I haven't fully applied yet because this is a course of study. When you are engage yourself in a course of study, it's something you have to do many, many, many times to perfect. The law of success is one of those things. So buy the book and be all in or it's not going to work for you, okay? So today we're going to discuss another formula from the law of success. This is on lesson 11, concentration, okay? And this is what you need to do if you want to form habits in your subconscious mind. And there's a number of steps that you need to take in order to build those habits effectively. And remember that when you're starting out building a new habit, it's not easy, okay? Because the old habits that you currently have right now are gonna wanna be fight, taking over and fighting for control as you establish new productive habits. Right, so don't give up. The journey's not easy. <laughs> okay, everything requires persistence and constant effort. All right. So, first, anyway, before we get into the formula, I would like you guys to make sure you grab yourselves a pen so you can write this down. The following are the rules of procedure through which, if you, which you may form the habits you desire. Okay. So, first, at the beginning. Of the formation of a new habit, put force and enthusiasm into your expression. Feel what you think. Remember that you are taking the first steps toward making this new mental path. That is much harder at first than it will be afterwards. Make the path clear and as deep as you can at the beginning, so that you can readily see it in the next time you wish to follow it. So the page here. Second. Keep your attention firmly concentrated on the new path building and keep your mind away from the old paths, lest you incline toward them. Forget all about the old path and concern yourself only with the new ones that you are building to order. Third, travel over your newly made paths as often as possible. Make opportunities for doing so without having to wait for them to arise through luck or chance. The oftener you go over the new paths, the sooner will they become well-worn and easily traveled. Create plans for passing over these new habit paths at the very start. Fourth, resist the temptation to travel over the older, easier path that you have been using in the past. Every time you resist temptation, the stronger do you become. And the easier it will be for you to do so the next time. But every time you yield to the temptation, the easier does it become to yield again, and the more difficult it becomes to resist the next time. You will have a fight on at the very start, and this is the critical time. Prove your determination, persistency, and willpower now at the very beginning. Fifth, be sure that you have mapped out the right path as your definite chief aim, and then go ahead without fear and without allowing yourself to doubt. Place your hand upon the plow and look not backward. Select your goal and make good, deep, wide mental path leading straight to it. As you have already observed, there is a close relationship between habit and auto-suggestion, which is self-suggestion. Through habit, an act repeatedly performed in the same manner has a tendency to become permanent and eventually we come to perform the act automatically or unconsciously. 
It's like playing a piano. For example, the artist can play a familiar piece while his or her conscious mind is on some other subject. Autosuggestion is the tool with which we dig a new mental path and form new habits. Concentration is the hand that holds that tool, and habit is the map or blueprint which the mental path follows. An idea or desire to be transformed into terms of action or physical reality must be held in the conscious mind faithfully and persistently until habit begins to give it a permanent form. So there you guys have it. That is the formula for creating new productive and, and positive habits in your subconscious mind. Now, let, I'm going to tell you guys a bit of a story uh, about a time when I had severe anxiety disorders. Uh, I used to have really bad anxiety. I had insomnia. I was very depressed. And I was at a time in my life where I just, I didn't know who I was and I didn't know what I wanted to be. And I used to think the worst all the time. And eventually it came to the point where my mind was saturated with fearful expectations. And I was having anxiety day and night. I was not sleeping properly. I wasn't eating healthy. And I came across the Linden Method by Charles Linden, which I will put in this video. So if there's anybody out here suffering from anxiety or panic disorders, this is the cure to your condition. So what did the Linden Method teach me about anxiety? Well, I learned that anxiety disorder is not actually a mental illness. It is a habit of behavior. Now, what does that mean? What that means is that anxiety is formed through behaving anxiously over and over and over again. Worrying constantly about things that haven't happened yet, expecting the worst, planning for the worst, always thinking that you're going to fail, always thinking that something bad's going to happen even though there's no evidence to support that. Eventually, those neural pathways of fear become so fixated in your subconscious mind that your amygdala gets triggered to stay on constantly. And what your amygdala is, it's the thermostat deep in your limbic system of your subconscious mind that controls anxiety levels. Now normally, if there's a real threat, you see a lion or a car is, gonna, or a car is coming towards you and you dart out of the way, your body sends off the fight or flight response, releasing adrenaline into your bloodstream and your muscles to prepare you to run or face the threat. But you see, in anxiety disorders, when the amygdala is stuck on constantly, your brain is constantly sending out threat signals and assessing risk. That is how anxiety disorders are formed, and that's how they perpetuate themselves. Therefore, the more you fear the condition, the more you behave anxiously, the more you think something's actually wrong with you, the more you're going to perpetuate that cycle. How did I get rid of my anxiety? How I got rid of my anxiety disorder was quite simple. I focused my mind on things that were productive, that were positive, and that were and that forced me to face whatever fears I had. What that does, when you face those fears and you don't fear the anxiety itself and you divert your mind onto productive things that force your mind to learn, it's what happens is the amygdala starts to reverse the process of which created the anxiety disorder in the first place. What I mean by that is, when you do things of a non-anxious nature and you force your mind to learn something new that is non-anxious, productive and positive, it creates the same changes in your amygdala that brought the anxiety on in the first place. All you're doing is reverse engineering the process. Now, I'm going to explain something to you about diverting the subconscious, the conscious mind. What I mean by that is you can't just sit in front of the TV or go out with your friends or play your Xbox, okay? Diversion means literally forcing the conscious mind to learn something new, which then in turn forces the subconscious mind to stop focusing on the anxiety, okay? So, order the Linden Method. I'll put a link for it in this description. I hope this video has inspired you to take action, to take control of your life, do personal development and go after your dreams, okay? Because that's what I'm doing with the Entrepreneur Power Hour. My life has changed 150% because I now have found what I want to do. So, we love you guys. Please 
like, comment, and subscribe to the Entrepreneur Power Hour. And please join us this Tuesday, November the 29th, 2016. We're going to be discussing five ways you can give powerful thanks to your organization, team, friends, family, and your loved ones. Okay? So, be real. Take action. And never give up on your dreams. You can achieve anything. You have a human mind. It's the greatest gift you've been given. Use it wisely. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Well, hello, Gary Vanierchuk. Chris Peters here with the Entrepreneur Power Hour. And I'm coming outside to film a video in my beautiful backyard of my home here in my hometown of Brandon, Manitoba, Canada. And I want to talk to you why, about why I think the Entrepreneur Power Hour and Gary Vanierchuk should collaborate on our YouTube channels. Let me just say, first of all, that I think you're an amazing person with integrity, honesty, intelligence, and you're unabashedly, unapologetic in your honesty and delivery of your message to people and other entrepreneurs. And your videos are both funny, humorous, inspiring, entertaining, and very honest and very, very packed with useful information, inspiration, and integrity. And that's what we have here at the Entrepreneur Power Hour, Gary. We're very similar to you in spirit. And my attitude is exactly like yours. I'm very, un very honest, very unapologetic, and I'm unabashedly honest with people when it comes to what I think people are capable of. And I do my best to try and inspire people every day to take action and to be that person they want to be. But I do tell them that being an entrepreneur is not for everybody. You have to work hard every day, every day, every day at what you want. You gotta be willing to read the right books, listen to the right people, and not be afraid to go after what you want. And I'm very inspired by your video on why you hated school. Uh, that video you did where you talked to that, uh, that uh, African-American father about why his daughter shouldn't go to college and how much debt she's gonna get in and things like that. And I just love how animated and colorful you are in your videos. Big inspiration to me and my, me and my brother Kareem Mays, who is my business partner and my co-captain in this journey towards our dream of fulfilling uh, our dreams as successful entrepreneurs, content creators, video marketing production specialists, social media marketing specialists, and we also are getting into professional life coaching. So I really hope that you find this video great, Gary, and I hope that.